Missoni Parfum Pour Homme, Steel Seal. Is it really a cheaper alternative for Bleu de Chanel? I'm gonna unseal this, I'm gonna do a first impressions and I'll, I'll tell you if it's really a cheaper alternative for Bleu de Chanel or not. Stay tuned after this intro. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. A lot of you guys told me that Missoni Parfum Pour Homme is a cheaper alternative for Bleu de Chanel. So I got myself a bottle. I haven't really opened it yet. I'm just gonna unwrap it in front of you guys. I'm just gonna smell it for the first time in front of you guys and if it does smell like Bleu de Chanel and we'll see if it really is a copy of Bleu de Chanel or not. Okay, so let's just put a Bleu de Chanel here for now and let's just unseal uh, Missoni Parfum Pour um, I love unwrapping new fragrances for some reason. I just do love that way too much. Okay, and you can go away now. We don't need you no more. Um, this is a very cheap fragrance. You can find it between 20 to $30 max if you uh, uh, look for it discounted online. And a lot of people talk nicely about it. I personally haven't smelled it. I haven't smelled anything from Missoni before, to be honest. Uh, oh, it's got a magnetic cap. This is actually a really nice bottle of what you pay for this Missoni that you can find at any uh, TJ, I was gonna say Trader Joe's, TJ Maxx or Ross or all those uh, places like that. So uh, let's just spray this bad boy. Okay. Does it smell like Aqua Di Gio of the just first initial spray? The answer is not really, okay? This is more alcoholic -y. This is definitely a big dose of alcohol. You really need to let this one rest for a little bit to be able to really smell it. Let's just spray this Bleu de Chanel here to uh, be able to really uh, compare them side by side, okay? You see, Blue de Chanel doesn't have that alcoholic -y feel that this one had when I first sprayed it on, okay? Now, okay, I can see a little bit of DNA as Blue de Chanel. To be honest, it's very fresh, it smells a lot like Blue de Chanel, but it's not entirely like 100% Blue de Chanel, okay? Blue de Chanel is definitely a little bit sweeter and fresher opposed to this one that I felt like this one is like maybe denser than Bleu de Chanel and it gives somewhat of an old schoolish vibe. I'm not saying this is an old school scent, but it reminds me of some old school notes. Uh, maybe this one has got some oak moss or some herbal nuances, uh, which gives that old school herbal feel sometimes. But don't get me wrong guys, for 50 ml for $12 or so, this one is great for that. And it seems like it's thick and it, it, it's strong. It's not like a faint, cheap type of a fresh scent. No, this one, it doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell cheap. It smells good, okay? It smells like your typical $100 type of a designer scent. I would say this one smells up to 70, 75% like Bleu de Chanel, which is like a high ranking to be honest. This one is great. If you are looking for something that smells like Blue de Chanel and you just don't wanna spend that hefty price point for Chanel, uh, I think this is a great option for that, especially that for $12 or so for 50 ml, you just can't go wrong with it, okay? But if I have to choose between the two, Blue de Chanel always wins. Blue de Chanel, definitely. It's uh, nicer to smell, would definitely get you more compliments. Blue de Chanel, I just love that fruity, uh, new ounce that Blue de Chanel has opposed to this one. It's not as fresh, it's not as fruity or as sweet as Blue de Chanel, okay? This one is more on the fresher uh, herbal side of things. But overall, I love Missoni. I think it's a very good buy for what you get out of the price point with that one. And it, it's pretty good. I highly encourage you to get yourself a bottle of this one, especially if you can find it very cheap at your local Target. Not Target. Uh, Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, uh, TJ Maxx. That's what I was trying to say. So this is pretty much it guys. Missoni Parfum Pour Homme is a pretty good one for what you get for the price and it smells a lot like Bleu de Chanel. And you guys were right and I'm really happy with that purchase that you guys recommended. Thank you so much and please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of Missoni Parfum Pour Homme? Have you ever tried it? Do you own it? Oh, 
How long does it last on your skin? Because I personally haven't tried it on my skin yet, so I don't know how long it lasts. If it lasts for, I would say like five, six hours, I'll be way more than happy for that. But it seems like it's pretty oily and it seems uh, strong. So I feel like it would give me that five, six hours or so. So I'm pretty happy with that. So please let me know in the comment section down below what you think of that. And don't forget to give me a like, uh, subscribe and follow me Follow me on my Instagram. And this is pretty much it, guys. I know sponge making smell good. Always easy. Peace.